What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza and welcome to the full easter egg tutorial for the brand new zombies map the shadow throne for world war 2 zombies. Inside of this tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys absolutely everything that you need to know to complete this easter egg either on solo or co-op and it's going to make it super super easy for you guys to understand and complete. But before we get into that tutorial let me tell you guys that with every single DLC drop here on the channel we give away 5 DLC codes for you guys to enjoy and download download the map for free if you would like one of these dlc codes and enter into this competition all you've got to do is make sure you like this video make sure you are a subscriber of the channel here on codename pizza and most importantly leave inside of the comment section right now the name of your psn username so then i can send the winning code to that username if you win it's as simple as that just instantly do those three things and you are instantly entered into that competition good luck and i hope you guys win so this easter egg is probably going to take you guys around one to two hours to complete so make sure you've got that amount of time spare if you do want to do this easter egg now once you are inside of the map i advise you guys to open up every single room inside of the map itself and then you have a free map to go and look around and collect all the items that you will need to complete the actual easter egg now the first step that you guys are going to be doing inside of this easter egg is making your way over to this radio right here now on top of the radio you'll notice that there is symbols on there you need to memorize these symbols and make your way over to this room right here now remember those symbols because they will be needed in just a second but also look onto this map in the room that you are currently in you'll notice that there is a red pin that is on that map in a certain area now you need to memorize that area as well now look over to the poster on the left hand side find the area that the pin is in and match that to the actual model number and name of the radio that you guys saw on top of the radio earlier on now once you've got that number that is going to be your radio frequency make your way back to that radio and type in that number just by using your analog sticks now once that number's in you'll notice that this red light has now turned to green and you'll get a message over the intercom once you get that message you can now make your way over to this box right here which is a flare box simply shoot the top of the box and a flare will release that's then going to notify the zeppelins inside of the air to lower down and you'll have this huge zeppelin above your head now once that actually happens you now need to go and find a battery so go and have a look in these two locations where there will be a battery spawning in. One of the locations is going to be inside of the theater area on the upper part of the stage. Make your way over there and you might find it right here where I am aiming my gun. The other location that you guys can see on the screen right now where I find it is over inside of the museum on the upper story level. You'll find it placed right here, pick it up and you guys have officially got the battery. And now you've got that battery, you'll also notice that because of the Zeppelin being above your head, you can now get turned zombies or sizzler zombies inside of the map right now as well. The Zeppelin's going to fire a laser down and turn those guys probably once every 30 seconds. And they're going to be super, super quick. So if you don't need them, kill them. But to unlock one of the pieces of the Wonder Weapon, you do have to melee one of these guys and actually kill them with a melee kill. Once you do that, you're going to get a part of the Wonder Weapon and now you can make your way down to the room right here. There'll be a generator inside of this room place in the battery into that generator and the doors will open turn directly around again and pick up the battery and you'll be locked inside of that room make your way over to the wonder weapon crafting table we can now place the battery and also the part that you got from that sizzler zombie and it'll build the wonder weapon pick up the wonder weapon and you are good to go so now that you've got the wonder weapon you can go straight onto the next step which is shooting this cash register right here once you've shot the cash register you'll notice that it will open and underneath there'll be a picture of a little girl but on that picture you'll notice that there is a number you need to remember these numbers the number on the left and also the number on the right you're now going to make your way back over to that radio that you inputted the number in before but now input these numbers that were on this photograph once you input those numbers the red light on the radio will now once again turn to green now once it turns to green it will then contact the smuggler now once you've contacted the smuggler you can make your way over to this part of the ground right here at the back of the theater you'll notice that there's a gas grate on the floor that you can actually blow open with a grenade once that opens up you can now hear the smuggler and he will ask you for weapons now you need to give him a war weapon that he wants right now i believe there's three war weapons that you can give him the one that works for me the most is the combat shotgun but i've also heard reports of the mp40 and also the bar as being weapons that you can also give that guy to progress onto the next step if you give him the wrong one he'll say that he doesn't have ammunition for that type of weapon but if you give him the right one it'll unlock the next step to the easter egg and at this point all you've got to do is go three full rounds 
rounds. Once you've gone those three full rounds, there'll be another gas grate near the stamina up area of the map, kind of near the radio location. You can open this by either meleeing it or throwing a grenade at it, and it will open up once again, just like the other one, and you'll be able to hear the smuggler. But this time, you need to give him 1,500 points of your jolts, and he'll instantly say that that step is complete, and go and meet him down at his apartment. Now, go down to the area where you originally built the wonder weapon, and go and knock on this door three times. Once you do that, there'll be a whistling zombie behind that door. Kill the whistling zombie, and you'll notice that the smuggler is there, but unfortunately, he is dead. But he did leave his bats there, and that is one of the keys to this massive door over this side of the map. So pick up that bat, go and place it inside of that door, and that is one key. You are looking for two more keys, which is the dagger and also the axe. The next one that we're going to be moving on to right now is the axe quest. So to do the axe quest, you guys are going to have to go and find numbers that are scattered around the map. At the minute, there's only two locations of these numbers. One of them is over inside of the theater area on this dresser right here. And the other location is over in the museum carved into this marble structure. Now take those numbers and once again, you guessed that you're going to go and input them into the radio. Now, once you input those into the radio, you'll then receive Morse code being played into the map. That Morse code is going to tell you two specific numbers. The numbers can only be between 1 and 29, so it's not that difficult to work out, but I will leave a link inside of the description right now for you guys to figure out Morse code with numbers. Once you now know your specific number, you now need to go and collect the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass is on this seat right here inside of the theater. Pick that up and then make your way back down to the church area of the map where you'll now see the magnifying glass on this map. Now all you've got to do is move the magnifying glass to the exact two numbers in correlation, X and Y axis, of what Morse code that you got given from that radio. Once you've done that correctly, you'll notice that this door right here will open on this dresser and you'll find a gold bowl inside. Pick up the gold bowl and go and put it on this scale inside of the museum. Once you put that gold bowl down on the scale, you can now go and get one melee kill from one of the special sizzler zombies next to the armor refuel station. Once you do that, you'll notice that their head will actually get stuck inside of the station and you can pick that head up. Go and place that head onto the gold bowl and the rabbit next to the bowl will now work as a soul box. All you've got to do is get kills with normal zombies around that soul box until it's filled up. The drawer on that cabinet will then open revealing the axe. Pick up the axe and go and place it over in the other slot on the wall near that door where you originally placed that bat that you got from the smuggler. You've now done two of the keys to open that door. Well done. You are only one away right now. So for the final one, this is also pretty darn simple. You've got to go and make your way over to this bedroom right here, which is the dancer's bedroom. Over on the corner table, you'll notice that you can pick up a dancer's photo. Now make your way over to the theater area of the map where you can place the photo in front of the projector right here. You can now shoot that projector with the wonder weapon that you built before and also shoot a secondary reel that is found above the projector, which will fall down onto the ground, which you have to pick up and also place that into the projector as well. Once you've done that, you'll notice that there is a map and also a green flashing dot that is projected over onto the wall next to the theater stage. This green flashing light is a location. In that location, there will now be a doll that works as a soul box. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly where all these dolls are right here, starting from the spawn area. The first one you guys can find is right in front of the spawn area near the Pack-a-Punch machine. The next one is going to be located over inside of the Wonder Weapon building area. The next one that you guys can find is over near Stamina Up, inside of this electrical trap right here. The next one that you can go and find is inside of the museum on the chandelier. The next one that you guys can find is sat on the Double Tap machine. The next one that you guys can find is at the back of the theater. And another one is also located on the theater stage itself. So find out exactly which flashing light correlates to which doll and get kills next to that doll. The only problem is you guys are going to have to count exactly how many kills that you are getting. So make sure you count the exact number of kills that get sucked into that doll. Now you're going to have to do this process four times in different locations. And remember all the amount of kills that go into every single doll location. So let's say you get the first one and you kill three zombies and then it finishes. Make your way over to the next one and get two kills. Then the next one get one kill and then the next one get eight kills. Your number that you need to remember is 3218. But it's a different number every single game. So it'll be unique to your game. Once you know your exact number, go over to the safe near the dancer's room and input that number into this safe. You'll notice that the door then opens up and you will see the dagger inside of that safe. Pick up the dagger and that is your third key to that big gate over at the other side of the map. Go and place it in there and now you're onto another soul box step. 
At this point, you guys are going to have to kill a load of normal zombies. And once the souls stop collecting for those normal zombies, start killing a load of the red sizzler zombies that get turned by the zeppelin. Once the souls have stopped collecting for those, you then have to get pest kills. So the bonus round pest kills that also do spawn in in normal rounds as well. Now you'll know you've done this correctly because the door will open up and you guys will be able to make your way down into that room. Now before you go and do this, you need to go and power up the drops that are around the map. Now you do this with your wonder weapon. Now there's a drop right in the middle of the map. There's also a drop over in the spawn area of the map. And there's also a drop over in the museum part of the map as well. You're now going to go and find your fourth drop, which is inside of the Raven Room, which you just opened up. So once you've powered up that fourth drop, the door will now slam shut and you will be locked inside of that room. Your task now is to look at the statues inside of this room and make every single statue face the middle of the room. This might sound a little bit scary, but I'm going to make it 100 times easier for you right now. My friend Javano, who I'm going to leave a link to both his Twitter and his YouTube channel inside the description, has actually already made a website for you guys to go onto and type in the exact ones that you have got, and it'll tell you how many times to change these statues. You change the statues by shooting them, and they will spin. So big shout out to Javano, he's an absolute legend. I'm going to leave the link to his Twitter, YouTube, and that website inside of the description right now for you guys to go and check out. Now once you've completed every wall around the Raven Room, you're going to get a gold Raven spawn in on each wall. Pick up all those ravens and they're going to allow you to place them onto the statue in the middle. Now this is a good part of this easter egg because every single time these raven statues get added in the exact same order every game. So just copy the order that are being placed on in my game right now that you guys are watching and you will get the correct order every single time. Now once you've inputted all of those correctly all the ravens will turn green and you'll be able to pick up a sword next to the statue which is called the blade of Barbarossa. Pick up that blade go to the top of the stairs and place it inside of the rock and the doors will then open once you've opened the doors and you're back inside of the map you need to get boss fight ready because you are about to go to a boss fight and it's pretty darn difficult so make sure you've got all your perks and all the weapons that you need i advise you guys to get a pack a punch mp40 because that is one of only two wall buys inside of the boss fight and also make sure you've got all your armor and all the perks that you need once you are ready to go into that boss fight make your way over to the drop that is now near the radio that you guys were using before Four. Go inside of that elevator drop and shoot the top of that drop with your wonder weapon. Make sure you've got 100 ammo in that wonder weapon or it will not get you to the zeppelin. Once you've shot that thing from 100 ammo all the way to zero, the doors to the zeppelin will open and you will be inside of the boss fight. Now to do this boss fight, you need to go and make your way over to the panels inside of the room that you can interact with. Your goal is to get the blue bowl of lightning on the floor and also on the board to actually travel down the green wires and get to the end of the path. It's as simple as that. Just follow the path along there's multiple panels in this room and make sure the blue lightning gets all the way down the green wires until the end once you've done that correctly the boss will spawn in to the map and once he's in the map you guys are gonna have to do one thing only and that's wait until he screams as soon as he screams you'll notice that there'll be big orange things that appear on his body that you have to shoot Shoot him when he screams, it's going to take so many bullets, so make sure you keep on getting that MP40 war by, keep on putting so many bullets into him, and eventually he will finally die. Once he's dead, go and make your way back into that elevator drop that you traveled up to the Zeppelin in, and that's then going to take you down back to the normal part of the map, where it'll then start the end cutscene, and you guys have completed the entirety of the Shadow Throne Easter Egg. Well done, dudes, you guys have absolutely killed it! That's what I'm talking about. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial at all, just make sure you absolutely smash that like button right now. It would help me out a lot. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you are brand new to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. I hope you guys enjoy the Shadow Throne. Go and do it for yourselves. I know you can. And I'll see you very, very soon for another video or another live stream. Thank you for watching, guys. And peace out.